SZA confirms relationship with Drake. LL Cool J tells Kanye West to piss off. And Travis Scott and Machine Gun Kelly top the charts. Hey, I'm Tetris, and these are your top stories for Monday, October 5th. I've been growing up. Yeah, it says she wanna f to some SZA weight. Cause I used to date SZA back in 08. Rumors of a fling with SZA swirled after Drake spilled the tea in that new collaboration with 21 Savage and Metro Boomin, Mr. Right Now. Well, the R&B star took to Twitter to clear the air, saying, So it was actually 2009, lol. In this case, a year of poetic rap license mattered, lol. I think he just innocently rhymed 08 with weight. Anybody who really knows me and was around during this time can confirm. It's all love, all peace. She added, I just didn't want anybody thinking anything underage or creepy was happening. Completely innocent, lifetimes ago. With all due respect, I think Kanye should just, he should, you know, maybe he should piss in a Yeezy or something. Remember that Twitter video where Kanye West urinated on a Grammy? Well, most of us have tried to forget it, but L O Cool J has a few words for the outspoken star as he sat down for an interview with Jesus and Mero. I felt some kind of way about that. I didn't love that shit because I yeah. hosted the Grammys for five years. Yeah, the Grammys didn't di get everything right, but they didn't get everything wrong either. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it seems that Mr. Ladies Love Cool James still might have it out for the Yeezys. But homie pissing in Grammys like, yo, piss in one of them space shoes, B. His <laughs> 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 space shoes and stuff. Oh, man. Got him bamboozled like a Spike Lee. You need more than Google just to find me. Travis Scott's franchise featuring Young Thug and M.I.A. blast in at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 Songs chart. The track is Scott's fourth total Hot 100 number one and third to debut at the summit in less than a year, making him the first artist ever to score such a triple that quickly. And over on the Billboard 200, Machine Gun Kelly has his first number one album with tickets to my downfall. Let's play pretend. The set earned 126,000 equivalent album units in the U.S. in the week ending October 1st, according to Nielsen Music MRC data. And that's gonna do it for today. Running it down for you always, I'm Tetris Kelly for Billboard News.